Hi, I'm Jamie and welcome to Going Beauty Addiction. Welcome back if you're one of my subscribers and a great big hello to any of my new subscribers. Today I have a little bit of everything going on. I've only got part of my face on. I have an unboxing. I'm reviewing some products and we'll kind of chat as we go. Maybe a little tutorial as we go along. I am um, one of the items for sure is a first impression tutorial slash first attempt slash could be a major fail. Who knows? I apologize first off if the lighting seems a bit off. If you're unaware there's some bad forest fires in northern Alberta right now so even though it is 10 o'clock in the morning when it's usually bright and sunshiny and beautiful in my filming room it is hazy smoked in gross um yeah even emails from my kids school saying they're not going to be out at recess and concerns about air quality so big thoughts go to everyone affected by the fires in northern alberta so let's get right into what's on my face what i've been doing lately a little bit different that i'm kind of really digging really loving um, first off, I tried, went back to, and tried the No Pore Bloom Primer. Now, I had used a whole bottle of this before and loved it. I know Jeffree Star had recommended, recommended it as Jeffree Star approved quite a while ago. So I bought a bottle then, used it all, then we received this in BoxyCharm, and I thought I would give it a new go. My standby is the uh, Dr. Brandt Pores No More, or is it Pores No More, or Pore Refiner, um, and I love that. And what I love about that is it's got a little bit of a tint to it, so if it's one of those days where you're just like wanting to kind of even stuff out, hide some pores, slap some powder on and go, it's amazing for that. This though I found, I've been finding lately is a lot lighter feeling. So that's got its advantages as well. So I do like this, it's by Touch and Soul, and I've been using it again and quite enjoying it. What I've been doing different lately, and you'll have to forgive me, I don't quite remember where I saw it from, so it's not that I'm not giving credit where credit is due, don't go all rainbow brows on me. Um, I've been putting my concealer on before my foundation, and what is so funny about this is way back, like when I was in junior high, that's what we used to do. That was just how you did your makeup, concealer first, then foundation. And then all of a sudden it became this, no, you wanna brighten and everything, so you got your, your concealer on top. So I used my Revolution Makeup Conceal and Define Full Coverage Conceal and Contour in C7. Now I've used this for quite a while, love this. I have a couple different shades too, which is nice. Then I made a boo-boo. <laughs> I went in with my Revolution Makeup Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation, and this is in F4. Um, it is beyond too light for me. This hopefully will work as a winter um, foundation just because I know I go from like flashback Mary white pale skin to quite dark skin. This was way too light. So I tried to put it on and tried to work with it and it was like, oh Lord, no. Now as a side note, because this has the great big dippy applicator, kind of reminiscent of Tarte Shape Tape, when I put it on my face and I started to work it in, um, it dries very fast. So if you have this in your correct shade and you're using it as foundation, please be aware. Maybe just do one area of your face at a time because it does dry down quickly. So once I realized I'd made a boo-boo, I went in with my tried and true Color Pop No Filter Foundation in Light 75. Still a bit light for me right now, but changing seasons, changing skin tones, whatever. But it even things out. Anyway, I set everything with my pretty vulgar The Powder Room as per usual. Can't say enough good about this. Love it. It has replaced all my other powders. Then for my eyes, I used the Pure Festival 
palette that we received in BoxyCharm. There it is there. So I used Epic as a base color. I went into my crease with Hidden Desert. Then I attempted a bit of a spotlight eye with both Gypsy and Wild Child. And then I deepened up my crease with All Night. So... Then what I did is I used the Appeal Holographic Lip Gloss that we got in BoxyCharm. And I put it a little bit in the halo or the spotlight portion of my eye and went over it a little bit with Fireworks, this glitter. Now what's cool about this palette is these glitters here, they're almost more of a gel consistency or a putty type consistency. So there's not the fallout, but it is a little bit more difficult to work with. So something just to keep in mind there. Then I, oh, for an eyeshadow base, I used my NYX eyeshadow base in white. I've spoken about this before. Um, I do like this. I do. I've got to really look. Somebody told me in my comments that there is a more beigey color, but I figured because I kind of wanted a of color that I would use the white to maybe bring it out. I also used my, um, actually I used the foundation because it was so light to do the spotlight portion of my eye. So a kind of cut crease type thing. Now I didn't do eyeliner. I didn't do mascara because those are products I'll be discussing shortly. I also didn't do blush because I know that we have a blush palette in BoxyCharm that I'm unboxing. And I wanted to try on camera a new technique that I saw Rose do over at Beauty Boomer beauty boomer and I will link her channel down below so then what the last thing one of the last things I did is I highlighted with the artist couture in purple dream and this is another boxy charm item that we got and it's so funny it looks so gold but you put it on and it is a very pink purple highlight I have been liking it the downside to that though is there it is quite chunky with glitter so if you're like me, with some more experienced skin, if you take your highlight up too high, close to your eyes, it the, the glitter will settle into your experience lines. Also, I notice because I have quite big pores on my nose, um, if they're not filled in and prepped correctly, the glitter can settle into your pores and that's just not, you know, fresh or fun. Little shade. So. We are, I set everything then, of course, slay all day in cucumber. I am almost out on my live stream last night. Jen from Gerard Cosmetics popped in and, and I really think we need to see like the gallon size of the slay all day. I go through it so insanely and I have a bunch of the little ones in different scents to try and I even keep all of my empty ones and the reason I do that is a perhaps I'll be a refill one day or B I love the spray so much so any of my other spray type products that I have I will use my empty slay all day bottles because the mist is just perfection on those so let's get into BoxyCharm I will also mention that if you check the description down below I do have an affiliate link with Gerard Cosmetics so it'll save you a little bit of moolah um, I do get some compensation if you do use that link. So it's there if you'd like to use it or not. So BoxyCharm this month, last month, who knows, I get these so late, is called Make Waves. Now I didn't look at any spoilers really, but I did see that there was the blush palette because I watched Rose's video. So I did see her products as well. So I guess that's a spoiler. Anyway. So what we got first off in here is the Glam Glow Gentle Bubble Daily Conditioning Cleanser. Whew, that is a mouthful. It's a beautiful box. Packaging's amazing. Um, I have a cleanser I'm using right now that I'm loving. Um, yeah, very pretty. I've seen mixed reviews on this, so that's why I'm kind of eh, a little bit scared to try it out. Um, oh, it doesn't have a scent. That's nice. I've seen some people say that they broke out terribly from it and other people that swear by it, I guess, as can be said about any product. 
So once I'm done the cleanser that I'm using now, I will give this a go and give you guys an update on that. Next we have, this is from Ciate London, Eye Luster Cream Eyeshadow, Metallic Eyeshadow. Interesting. So there's that. What's the shade? The shade is Cupid. So I didn't know this was gonna be in the box or I wouldn't have done my eyes. Oh wow. Okay, so this, for some reason when I opened it, it reminded me of the Lime Crime lip toppers. There's a bit of, a bit, a lot of sparkle in this. So let's just give that a swatch and see. No smell. Just swatch it. Oh wow. Okay. That is kind of all kinds of beautiful. Wow, I love that. Love that. I am definitely going to be working that into a lot of looks. It's like a pink, but gold. Love this. Love this. So happy I got this. Okay, now we have a Dose of Colors Strawberry Pop Liquid Matte Lipstick. On my last trip down to the States when I was in Texas, I picked up my very first Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick. And I quite like it. It's It was very nice. Um, it wore nice. I still, yeah, I've, I've spoken about this before, especially on my live streams. I don't know if I'm getting old or just set in my ways. I have my go-tos. I have formulas I like, and I know that work well for me. So I've been sticking to those. But let's, this color looks like it could be a huge mistake for me. Woo! Give it a swatch here. Should we should we give it a go, guys? I have already primed my lips. <sighs> Wish me luck, y'all. I don't even have a lip liner in here. I am going to, I think, relocate all of my makeup into my filming room, just because that way my husband will actually get his sink back. <laughs> and for such occasions as this, I will have everything I need right at the ready. So let's uh, give this a go. Does not match my look at all, but the color is not bad. It went on nice. As you saw, that was just one dip. So it was a swatch plus my lips. Actually, it feels quite nice on. I do like this. Like I said, doesn't match my look at all, but it's kind of nice. Digging it. Then we have, this is, what is this? Mellow Brow Definer. Okay, I didn't do my brows. That's good. I don't see a color on it, which could be alarming. So there it is. Let's break into it if I can and uh, give it a try. Maybe. Let's swatch it first. Okay, so that is so odd that there is not a... Oh, it is in chocolate. That might be a little dark. Oh, yes. It has a spoolie on the end, which I live and die for. Okay. So this is very much like the, um, come on, focus, Benefit Cosmetics. It's got the um, triangle tip. Ooh. Okay. No guts, no glory, right? Let's uh, give this a shot. I'll probably speed this part up because brows sometimes can take a little bit of time. Yeah, it's a little dark for me. <laughs> um, it feels nice working with it. It is too dark. Um, I also now know why I always do my brows before my eyeshadow because you can hide a lot of your mistakes with uh, eye primer. I'm going to reserve judgment on this. 
again, maybe I'm just setting my ways. I have my favorites, but um, not going to write it off yet. We will see. So now the last item in the box, and this is the one I was looking forward to, is the LMR Cosmetics Colorette Blush Trio. Um, we received an LMR eyeshadow palette a while back, and my goodness, I love that palette. I cannot say enough good about that palette. It is phenomenal. Love it. Love, love, love it. This is why I stand smaller companies and these indie brands because they're so it's so upsetting almost that they're kind of under the radar, but they are they perform so good. So in the colors here, we've got Castaway, Paris, Pariso, and Scorcher. Now they all do have a bit of shimmer to them. There is a nice mirror in there. I'm going to see if I can remember how Rose did hers, just kind of from memory. Um, if I recall, she went in with a larger brush with the lightest color, and this is like a watercolor blush look. So I'm going to go in with this Castaway. No smell to it. And just kind of lightly blush the whole of the cheek area now rose had mentioned in her video as well not to bring it too far up because there is some glitter in there and again with the uh experience lines um this is my all-time favorite blush brush by the way it's from it cosmetics Heavenly Lux Flawless Brush is all it's called. It's got the right size handle for me and just the right angle. And I have a lot of brushes, but it's by far my favorite. So this is not showing up drastically, but it's not supposed to. So then we're going to go into the next darkest shade, which I'm going to use that Scorcher. And I'm going to go in with my Chikahoodoo powder brush. So again, a big brush, but not super big. Go in a little bit of scorcher and just a smaller area now. Why am I doing everything backwards now and I know better? One thing I've learned with blush, and actually I think I learned this from Luscious Massacre. When you're applying your brush, if you actually start up here and work your way down, you don't end up with that splotch I guess if that makes sense it's easier to to work out so just kind of deepening it a bit my bad habit I always do end up taking my blush up towards my temple a bit so you can see there's getting to be a bit of color there then I'm going to go in with a smaller brush yet, and this is a uh, Chikahoodoo, this is one of the Beautylish collab brushes, and I'm going to go into that middle shade, the Parasol, which is more pink. Kind of the apples, just a little, little bit. Rose, you'll have to let me know if I completely botched the watercolor blush look. It's not showing up. Hers was just so glowy and pink. But I think what I'll do is... Anyway, as far as workability, I do love these because I can see a little bit clearer with my mirror close. These are beautiful. I think what I'm going to do is with this same brush, I'm going to go in with this Baked Blush and Brighten blush by Laura Geller just add a little bit more pink to it there we go there I don't know I think I have to practice the technique more I'm gonna have to watch Rose's video again to get the full-on technique correct with that and looking at my monitor, I'm going to quick go in. Great big huge brush. This is a Morphe. 
just to fine with some bronzer a bit since I didn't contour anything. Okay, so there's the blush. I will give a verdict on the wearability, that type of thing. So now we get into the potentially a big oopsie moment. If you recall, when I did my um, haul from this, I bought the Ulta Beauty Eyeliner set that had a pencil, a liquid, cat eye and a glitter eyeliner. Um, I bought it mainly for the cat eye. I wanted to see if this would work for a wing and I have not used it yet because I thought if I'm gonna make a fool of myself, why not let y'all enjoy in it too? <laughs> Before I get into that though, one thing I would like to mention is it came with a black silver glitter, it's called Glitter Tears Eyeliner. Okay, we have some issues here. Can we see? how it's not black anymore it's I have never opened it it's just kind of gone gross like disgusting gross so uh this is the problem when I buy stuff in the states that you can't get in Canada so it's not like I can take the kit back and say um something funky going on with this I'm kind of stuck with it and that kind of super huge sucks. So anyway, that out of the way. Oh, also um, last month in um, BoxyCharm, we got this eyeliner pencil called Bali Bronze by Body Bodyography. It sucks. There's no nice way to say it. It, um, like it looks all nice but try to get that on your eyelid without having to gouge your eyeballs out. It don't happen. Not good. Don't like it. I tend to try to find a good in a product, even if I don't like it, but I have yet to find a good in that. Sorry, just my honest opinion. So anyway, on this set that I had purchased, it did have instructions on the back. So, how to use a cat eyeliner stamp. Step one, you're supposed to precariously place it by your eye. Step two, it magically appears there. And then step three, you fill in. <laughs> so let's, uh, so here is the, I guess it's black. It's not gonna show up all that well. Here's the stamp. So it's going to show up like that, apparently. <laughs> Is everybody feeling as apprehensive as I am all of a sudden? Watch me put it backwards or something. Let's make sure we got this going the right way. So how does she... She kind of lines up the straight. That's going to be quite a, quite a wing. Man, she didn't even close her eyes. But let's... already screwed up. Hmm. Okay, that wasn't terrible. Let's see if we can do the other eye. Oh, everything on this side of my face sucks so bad because I have my shoulder injury, so it's hard to even reach around to... Okay, what angle do we have of going on one eye here? wasn't as painful as I thought it was going to be <laughs> and I did bring in my liquid liner to to fill in so we'll uh hmm okay so I'm not hating that my right eye definitely turned out better than my left eye Whoa. So here's a good lesson. 
If you do what I just did, whether it be with eyeliner or mascara, let it dry. Let it dry first. Don't go wiping at it right away or it's just going to smudge everywhere. Not terrible. We survived, y'all. And here, I even brought in fake lashes and everything because I thought if I really botch it, we have a backup plan. So then to finish the look, I'll go in with my two favorite mascaras, my Essence. Now I've been wearing these nonstop like every single day. Um, one thing I did notice is when I was out doing a bunch of yard work, my favorite one here, the one I'm using right now, the green, the false lash effect, it did end up transferring a little bit, which I thought was a little odd, but it's not waterproof, so you know, you can't expect it to not transfer, I suppose, but I love this. So you can build this up so it literally does look like you have on some great big old drag lashes. It's awesome. Awesome. And then I use the volume one on my lower lashes. Like so. So there's my tutorial walkthrough try on review first impressions <laughs> a little bit of everything video. And uh, yeah, you're gonna have to let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about the watercolor blush technique. Check out Rose's video, which will be down below or up in the cards, whichever corner that pops up in. Um, are these brows too dark? What'd you get in your BoxyCharm? Do you get BoxyCharm? Are you feeling let down by BoxyCharm as of late? Um, just any feedback, what kind of videos you would like to see next. And yeah, I've been really enjoying live streaming. I've been, yeah, you guys make me so happy. Our conversations that get going. And uh, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're not already. And until next time, I love you all so much. Bye.